Oh, oh my gosh! No, no! What was that? I just got cracked! He's just dumping us in. Might be our last time out of the year. I don't know. It's early November and you just kind of got to take advantage of these really nice days in early fall. And so today we are out chasing muskies and pike. I guess I'll face this way so I'm not so backlit, but got a bunch of big sticks on the deck. We even busted out some of this. I have a few live minners. Nothing real big, but I we have a little different approach this year. A, because everybody's out of big suckers and this is all that's available. But we were all talking about it and we think that with the power of live scope we'll be able to kind of sharpshoot these fish kind of have some ideas how we'll present the bait to them but the way a big bait is it's just it, it's very loud it has a big presence in the water and that's why I think it's so appealing to fish is because it gets so much attention and those fish will exert that energy to come up for a big meal well our thinking is if we put a small bite sized meal right on their nose that you know there's some there's some appeal to that as well where they have to exert very little to no energy because with live scope we can put it right on their beak so we'll see how it works um, it's all it's all trial and error it's something a little bit different we've never really done it before so we'll see how it goes I uh, we were just put the boat in and we were kind of examining the water and it looks like it has a little cloudiness to it uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure yet I have to get out kind of onto the main lake but the way I look at it I tend to be a bit of an optimist and with the dirtier water uh, you might have the potential of fooling a fish easier in dirtier water so than gin clear but we will see we've kind of had a weird fall so far this is probably the last hurrah this week is it so you can see we're kind of we're coming through some ice here we had a really early kind of cool down i guess if you want to call it that and it happened really fast we got a bunch of snow and a lot of the shallow bays uh formed some ice so we got a warm day this week and so we're taking advantage and we're gonna go see if we can crack a couple more fish just can't let it go. You gotta take advantage of the nice ones. The nice days, that is. Oh. oh. Is he on ya? Yep. Here he comes. There you go. Get that sucker ready. Get that sucker. There he is, right here. See him? Yeah. See him? Oh, he's down straight below us. Straight under the boat. Straight under the boat. Drop. Drop. He's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming up for Yeah. He's down low now. He went back down. Right up here, Keys. Come right up here. Yep, just reel it up and drop it right off the front of the boat. 
the fish might bite. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Right there, he's coming. He's chasing the minnow. So part of what we're doing is he's is in the back hanging out a suck with the sucker, but Kyle and I are up front throwing big rubber around. So whenever we get a follow and Kyle's just on pan optics nonstop so we can reel that sucker in real quick and try and get get that live bait on them as fast as possible. But they don't seem to be super hot on it. So that's two now that we've had come and sniff and no go. So stay after it and it should happen eventually. If there's one thing about muskies is when they don't want to eat, they're frustrating. They don't they don't <laughs> eat. <laughs> it's really tough to force feed them anything at that point. It really sucks. Especially when you can just see them all over the place on live scope and then you're just watching them look at a look at a live minnow. It's extremely extremely frustrating. Oh gosh, here we go. That was, remember what I said, what was that? Yeah, that's probably what that was. There he is, right there. Got oh him, yeah, got him, got him. Got him. Good, nice. <laughs> right there, we just had the clicker go. Oh man, the clicker. <laughs> Click. That's a huge sucker. How much time do you think I should give him? And you're on a quick strike, and I'm gonna get the net ready. I would just, and kind of ease this over the top and then okay probably got it it's up to you i would hey. say drill him you ready fred i'm ready when you are got him there got him is. coming up coming up Ooh. on live scope coming up who we got boys feeling good? Oh, yeah. feeling good nice jack big jack Big old jack. Oh, wound up. That's a nice jack. That's a big jack. No. Oh, <laughs> big, big jack. Ooh, yeah. yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wasn't, sick, I, I wasn't sure if it was a muskie, but yeah, it, it wasn't was, as big of a return, but yeah. I'm super happy with that. Uh, that's what you wanted. Oh, man. <laughs> that was cool. That was sweet. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> okay, there it there is. There we go. Oh, okay. Better hang out in the yeah, net, get recuperated. Nice Thick head on That's that. That's a jack. teener. <laughs> <laughs> Look at She just had a. Oh man, she's greedy, huh? <laughs> she is greedy. Okay, let's take a look at this fish. Hmm? I kind of took uh, the back seat route, the lazy man's route. I let these guys do all the work, chunking the big rubber baits and eyes glued to the live scope, and I just camped in the back with a good old sucker. It's November, we're creeping up on deer season. This is a great time. You get a warm spell like this and come out and catch big toothy critters, big jacks, big skeetos. So I'm super happy. I said I wanted to catch a big jack today. So there she is, beauty. Put her on the bump real quick too and then nice cold water, she'll release good. What do we got? All right, we got a legit 40. That's the mark everybody tries to grab. 40 and a half. Right on the button, right there. Yeah, yeah. 40, 40 and a half. Beauty. The girth on her too, so. Heck yeah. Woo. Awesome. We got 40, 41 degree water temp, so she should be healthy. But we're gonna give her some time too. Big old gator head. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that in the sun. Big belly. Get her head turned towards the real water moving. Oh, she's getting her strength back. <laughs> Already on. Let's go get another. I want this one next one to be turquoise and barred and spotted though. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, oh, no. What was that? I just got cracked. Oh my gosh! Oh no! 
I just got cracked. Other side of me. Yes, that was insane. That was insane. Musky. Oh, yeah. Just hit the button. Yeah, I know. Got him. Can we net him? Yep. I'm trying to go. Okay. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. Ski. Oh, nice. That was gnarly. Ski ball. Yes. Ski ball. Out of the net. Yeah. Nice. We worked that fish, didn't we? Spotted one. Real pretty. Yes. Yes. <laughs> she got so hot. Oh I dropped it down. Handle your fish. Handle yeah. the fishy. Oh, yes. No matter how big they are, they're always hard to get in the boat. She's green yet, but real nice, pretty spotted one. She's a little green, but we'll, we'll do our best here. Come on now. Come on now, I'll give you guys a quick peek at her. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, come on, come on. Oh, sweet. <laughs> nice. Pushing 40. I guess the Throw bump's right here. We might as well take a peek. <clears throat> Let me switch sides here. Not quite. Ah, she'll go. Ah. <laughs> Just shy of Just 40. Just shy of 40. I see that sucker. Yeah. Pretty. Cool. Spotted. We'll let her go right away. We've had our fun with her, measured her, fought her. <clears throat> She's green, so we'll just get her back real fast. There. Yes. <laughs> oh, that is so much fun. She ate it on the fall. Oh, we're just chasing it down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's boys. It's really cool when you catch them using live scope. Yeah. And artificials. Look at that. It's like a mini bulldog kind of looks similar to it. This is actually a savage gear bait. It's like an alien. Blue, the biggest thing I think around here for what we're doing today has been uh, the tulabies and the whitefish are spawning. And it's clear lake and those fish tend to have a lot of that white, silver, darker backs. So that's exactly what that is. And That might close her out, it might not. We'll see, hopefully we can put one more in the bag. But. We have about one hour of sun and we've located a lot of fish. Yeah, so we're actually going to make a run to the first, uh, it would be like the second or third spot we've actually fished back right that way. Right over there. So maybe these fish are in a little bit different mood. When it comes to predatory fish, sometimes it's just you get an hour window where they're actually feeding. So if you can get on top of them where you know some live when they're feeding, it just, as you saw earlier today, we were just seeing tons and tons of fish, but sometimes it just takes the right time and yeah. being on them when they're hungry, I guess, so. We're putting our, we're putting our baits in the right zone. Okay, let's right, go catch let's another go. one. Let's do it. <laughs> so, and really guys, for the most part, it hasn't been, you know, we've been targeting 
I guess really, it, it, there's really no rhyme or reason other than a lot of this stuff is north facing. So like Kyle brought up for the last, over the weekend we had super strong northwest winds. So as you can see today, it's been super, super calm, but um, fish are still probably set up. Yeah. They're kind of still positioned from that super strong, like 25 plus mile an hour wind. So really? fishing the wind blown stuff, essentially, it's just not windy. Yeah. So we had major winds, Northwest cold winds out of the Northwest. That's consecutive for consecutive days. Yeah. So anytime you get that sort of conditions, which is the polar opposite of what it is today, but nothing has really changed since that major wind that came in so those fish haven't had any reason to reposition for the most part now they might start sliding into different areas here in the next day or two we may never find them again on these north facing structures but that was the first key to us Mitch moved a giant one earlier in the day and it was right off the tip of a ooh, north ooh, facing ooh. point big one big one so we got to thinking big about one. it it's like well is that the case and it seems to be holding true for 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 now this this long piece of structure we're on now is it, it's actually a series of humps and it runs all the way around all the way down to that point and so I mean we've got a few hundred yards here I guess of structure it's essentially the same piece of structure but all of this was just pounded by wind so that was you know kind of what we're doing and it seems to be working so far so that's just a little bit on locationally what we're doing and yeah suckers artificials all of it and really the big thing is is the live scope i mean we're really just we're trying to target individual fish if we're not seeing them we're kind of moving around here we go here we go what i friggin tell you <laughs> yeah it's eating that it good Oh man, look here. What's up? Watching me run. Okay, you let me know when you're ready. Wanna get up there? Yeah. Oh, that was quick. It's a little stuck there. I'll be ready. Ready? Yep. Stay with me, baby. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yeah. Oh, one. Oh. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. Let's three, four. No. Oh. Here she comes. Good, good feel. Oh yeah. You feel good, keys. Better than that last jack. Better than the last one. Better than jack. Here it is. Oh. Ski. What do we got. I think it's a ski. Yep. Ski. Ready? Ready? Nice he one. Oh, oh, giant, 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 giant jack. Jack. What? <laughs> another oh, even another bigger giant jack. one. It's a giant that was one. nuts. Holy cow. Whew. That thing's bigger than the last one. Yeah, it one. is. Oh, oh my gosh. goodness. Here, let's give you some pliers. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was what crazy. What a tank. This is like a 20 pounder. <laughs> How does it feel, McKinnon? It feels good because we were debating on whether we should pull the sucker up and shoot some cool underwaters of it. And pretty much a minute after that, the clicker starts screaming, the clicker. The clicker's where it's at. And that thing hit it way harder than the first one. That was cool. Oh my gosh. Woo! This is a here. giant. Pliers, bud? You got him right here. Oh, well, you got her? I got her. Oh, we yeah. just need... Was she down in there? Nope, not, oh, bad. not bad. Just right there. Out. Woo! Get that Jeez. out of the net. Oh, sorry. Grab that out of the net. Yeah. Uh, wow, keys. Oh. Come on, baby. <laughs> keys! <laughs> Here, I'll deal with that. You take your fish. Big jack. Big jack. Oh, that is a giant. That is a giant oh, jack. Oh, my gosh. Big pikeys. That is like a 20 pound jack. Oh, man. You ready? Or? Yeah, yeah, let me see that sucker. Oh, come on. Oh, oh belly of the beast. <laughs> oh, dude. This, no. Oh, way. man, this is like my PB Jack. This is like my PB Pike. Things freaking big. Look at the thick. Woo. Oh. 
<laughs> oh my word. Wow. That's like 40. It's over 40. Yeah. Oh man. Look at that. And look at the ancient, head on that thing. Ancient oh. 42, 42 and a half. 42 and a half. Oh, <laughs> you get a shot of that. Oh my 42 god. 42 and a half. Wow. Look at that sucker. Wow. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Oh, look man. at the gut on Dude, this thing. Massive height. Oh. Wow. Dude, these critters are so cool. Big jacks, you just don't see them very often like this, you know? Man. Those are few and far Look at between. these, they're so cool to see. You put two oh. of them in the boat. Big jacks. Suckers. Oh. Yeah, live bait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's get ready and get her back. Okay. Oh, okay. Any parting words for the beast? Yes, I love you. Look at this thing. <laughs> Big Jack, ready? Yep. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna ease her head in and grab the tail. She's already pretty mad. Look at that. Oh, look at the head. Oh, she's tight. She's gonna go. Look at that. Animal. Come on, baby. Like I said, she's tight. Big Jack. Oh. Oh, Slap me right in the face. <laughs> yes. Woo. Oh man, that was amazing. That was so sick. Sun has set. It's probably a little dark actually. I don't know how well you can see us, but I don't know. What do you think boys? We were able to catch a few fish and caught a few, it was a success. It was super cool, just the amount of fish that were actually around and moving and chasing baits and we whiffed and saw, you know, got visual confirmation on some and obviously caught both of what we were looking for, so. <laughs> Can't complain. Live scope knows all. I shouldn't say knows everything, but it's pretty cool just interacting with the fish like that. It helps. It definitely helps. helps. It definitely helps at certain times to put more fish in the boat so hopefully you enjoyed it and that was our little fall time pike and musky adventure esox mission. E mission yep that's what we'll call it so there it is time to put this thing on the trailer we're wrapped see ya